this in this video i am going to discuss about data collection in microsoft sql server management studio so it collects performance related data from multiple server and store it in a central data warehouse and present the data through report in ssms so let's see how to do that so and here you can find inside management data collection so data collection is there now here in SQL Server as and you click on job. So here you cannot find uh, any or uh, anything like uh, update. Now here after let's right click and here go to task. Here configure management data warehouse. So at here welcome to the configure management data warehouse. So this detail here click on next. So at here this is the server it's fine. Lenovo PC SQL Server 70. Now here after click on. Or uh, if you want, then here you can create the database. So I'm not going to create here. This is the JSON database going to use. And here you can find there are lots of synonyms tables inside JSON database. Now here after we need to click add here next. Now here so map login and users. So add here going to select. Uh, so this is fine. Lenovo PC Adam. Now here after so database role membership for JSON. So I'm going to select add here or so admin reader and writer. So if you give add here admin, so it has all the privileges. Now here after click on next. If you want, then here you can click add here new login. If you click new login. So here you have to give the, if you select here SQL Server Authentication, so give the username, give the user and password add here. So not going to do that. Now here after click on next. So add here use management data warehouse JSON server name and here cache directory. So one thing I, I forget add here. Okay, leave for cache directory this time blank. Now here after map login, so this is add here. Now click on finish. So add here configure data collection wizard in progress. Three is total three one success and here run instance. It all success here you can find report. So if you want then here you can uh, see the reports add here. Now click on close. Now here after let's uh, scroll down. Now here after let's click on task. And here configure data collection. Next, here select triple dot. Here click on connect. And here keep the. So I just selected it here database name JSON. Now here let's keep a cache directory. So I'm going to select at here TAM. So I'm going to show you is there anything inside TAM. Now there is a TAM directory is to empty. Now here after. So we need to uh, select this one, select data collection, uh, set you want to enable system and here after click on next and here this is the detail server name cache directory now click on finish. So add here 3 total 2 success all succeed now click on close. Now if you refresh at here, so see at here there is a one or two file generated. This is the cache directory here. So Lenovo PC and here this is so what kind of this files? Three, four, oh god, there are multiple files generated at here. So it was blank at here. Now here this is the details. So at here this is the tab. A and honor okay here you can find SQL server at the rate SQL ascent here yeah. now general this is the cache file dot chi so this is the temporary file now here after you can see at here if you click on plus here you can find data collection there is a, a system data collection sets disk uses query static server utility server activity and utility information it's all come inside data collection now if you add here 
let's refresh add here once okay one more thing i'm going to so add here lenovo now here after i'm going to refresh all now here after click on plus and here after management now here after sql server ascent and here jobs so here you can find collection or set after enabling at your data collection here you can find collection set and here this is for upload up, uh, upload collection upload and your collection so after enabling this you can uh, get this and here after one more thing there is a mtw purse data json now here after the next thing is here so if you want to see at your disk users click there so here, here you can find to uh, gender and here this is a disk user data files 16 and here declare retain data and here 70 30 days and here upload so add here management data warehouse that is json and here description now here after click on ok so add here this is so now here after query statistics so here you can uh, see the report as so a view logs click on view logs and here you can find all those things add here data collection and here disk user it's a selected here if you click add here query statics here you can see service and here utility information now here if you click on it here job history here you can find the job history at here so at here this is the date data collection no cache and here disk uses and here after sql server ascent this is the information related to sql server ascent now here after close that and here you can uh, see view logs of query statistics now here after you can see server so here you can collect and upload now so you can collect its a success after that you can upload here so let's see add here view logs so add here this is about to add here source master if you click on plus you get more information about here so this is information as uh, server activity so in progress success and here this is the date time 17 6 2019 so today and here this is the 6 21 6 21 it's uh, all timing at here 621 34 so something is uploading and here some in progress so by using this you can uh, get at here all the information at here this is master server activity and your data collection per collection connect here now here after here you can uh, here after when you click on right click here you can find one or clean up data collection it's come there so previous uh, it was configuration management and configuration data so by clicking this you can clean up the data now here after see so view log so if you click add a view log so it will auto selected disk utilities and here or uh, query statistics and here utility information sql server activity so and here this is about to connection user and here computers start date end date filter you can do the filter at here so when you give the end date at here and when the start date and here then oh, this is the source you can oh, do at your filter operation so by using filter operation you can oh, see only particular date of the data Now here after one important thing, right click on data collection, here you can find report. Add here, this is the management data warehouse. If you click add your server activity history, you can get the data. 
so add here server activity for 17 and here this is the date so it's only enable add here 176 so you cannot find more and but add here this is add here mb 40 to 16 and here this is or green add here so you can find add here cpu memory user disk io network so add your system from here to this point now here after you can uh, see add here next so management here disk uses summary add here so add here disk uses summary now so this is for json so add here this is 259 mb size 259 start port 2 and here current port 2 2.25 mb and here this is for master so this is for employee so by enabling data collection you can get disk users and here after if you want to check so add here go to report once again and here this is query statistics history So add here, this is selected time. So there is a very less query, no query because add here, this the today, I just enable add here data collection on uh, five minutes ago so that here uh, there is no any query on there. Now here after you can uh, check add here. So if you give enable, if you keep enable after doing uh, lots of query operation, then after you get information about that. So data collection, so it collect performance related data from the multiple server and store in center data warehouse and by using this we can get the information about the data this features curious static server activity by using this so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you